Christina with Bubblegum Paper and I am here with another fun card to share with you. Today I'm showing you a pop-up birthday card featuring products from Mama Elephant and it's a special card because it's my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, Ma! Here are a couple of pictures of the card I'm about to make and she's probably going to see it on YouTube before she sees it in person because I still haven't mailed it. Anyhow, let's get started. The main stamp set I'm featuring is a new one from Mama Elephant called Pick's Favorites, and it features this really cute bunny rabbit named Pix. I love this cute bookworm type one in the lower right corner. Um, I'm also born in the year of the rabbit, so this one was especially perfect for a birthday card for my mom. It also comes with these matching coordinating creative cut dies. I'm also going to be using a new die cut that came out called Columbus Circle. And it's this really fun circle die with stitching around the edges. And it also comes with um, a couple other, a tag die and a balloon die. So here I'll zoom in so you can get a closer look. And I'll put it on some white paper just so you can see. When I get a new die set, I usually use these wire snips just to separate all the dies. And that way I can use them in the future and um, I won't cut myself on any of those sharp points. I'm also using the Fine Trimmings die set along with the Pop-Up Trio die set. This is what's going to make the pop-up on the inside of the card. And I'm also taking this little party hat from the Ella and Friends stamp set. So those are all of the Mama Elephant products that I'm going to use in this card. Now I'm going to take the two bunny rabbit images, one where Pix is holding a heart and the other one where she's sitting down with a plant. And I'm using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and just stamping that on some Copic-friendly cardstock. This is Nina Solar White 110-pound cardstock. And when I have a new stamp set, I usually like to stamp the image a couple times on some scratch paper. That way I know I'm going to get a really good impression um, on the actual paper that I use. Then I'm going to take that hat from the Ella and Friends stamp set and I'm going to stamp that as well. Now that the images are all stamped, I'm going to go ahead and do some Copic coloring. I have placed the caps in screen, hopefully, and I will also just list them out in the top of the screen. Um, I've sped this up quite a bit so that you won't get bored. And then I'm going to set this to some music, and I will be back soon. Now that the coloring is done, I'm taking the coordinating dies and I'm just picking out the ones that match the two rabbits that I cut. I'll cut the rest of these out later. And I'm also taking the hat die from the Ella and Friends stamp set um, that I will use to cut out the party hats. I like to do all my die cutting at the same time, so right now I'm just ripping out the pop-up trio. I'm using the middle size one there. I'm using the scalloped Columbus Circle tag. Um, I have a set of scalloped rectangles from Lawn Fawn that you see, and then I have a plain circle die from Sizzix, and also this stitched fine trimmings die that I showed you earlier from Mama Elephant. So these are all the dies that I'm going to be using to die cut this card. It seems like a lot, but it really isn't that much. Before I get to the die cutting, I do want to make my card bases. So I'm taking a standard A2 size card base and scoring it at the 5.5 inch mark. One of these will go on the outside of the card and the other one will be tucked on the inside. And because it's on the inside, I do want to make it slightly smaller and give it some added appeal. So that's what I'm using that Lawn Fawn scalloped rectangle die for. So I'm going to do partial die cutting so you'll see that top edge actually is not going to hit the die cutting machine. So when I run it through, only three sides will cut. And then the fourth side, I don't think I actually cut it all the way, but the fourth side will not cut. So now I have a scalloped card. 
I'm going to go ahead and die cut all of those other elements that we shared. For the pop-up trio die, I'm centering that right on the inside of that scalloped inside card base that I made. And I'm just using my ruler to measure um, and make sure it's perfectly centered. And then I'll run that through. And this is what will let the bunny pop up. I'm taking this My Mind's Eye pattern paper and I'm just trimming it down so it's an A2 card size. And I'm placing that Columbus Circle die sort of towards the top but still centered. Um, in the card and then I'm taking those fine trimming stitches and just adding it to the top and the bottom of this card. The effect is pretty subtle but if you look really closely it's super awesome. I love it. I took um, a circle die and cut some white cardstock and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Lake Shores die, uh, die ink to just blend a little bit of a sky background. I didn't want a stark white circle in the center of my card, so I just wanted to add a little bit of shading, nothing too dark, nothing too significant. Um, and the best way to do that is to start blending on your craft mat and then bring it into the paper. So that way you won't get like a circle spongy mark on the inside of the card. So I'm just doing that and that will show through the window on the front of the pattern paper card. I wanted to use the thank you for everything sentiment that came with the Pick's favorite stamp set because my mom has done so much for me throughout my life. Um, so I thought that would be a great sentiment to put inside this card. And I'm just using some Versamark ink and I'm inking that up. First I did the thank you, now I'm doing the for everything and excuse my head, I was just trying to get everything perfect. And then I'm using some liquid platinum embossing powder and I'm going to heat set that. Then I thought, you know, this is actually a birthday card so I should probably put happy birthday on here somewhere. And I remembered I had these Lawn Fawn chit chat stamps which were so fun. So now I'm going to heat emboss the happy birthday from the chit chat stamp set as well. And then I'm going to have the bunny rabbit that sort of pops up on the inside of the card. I'll have the speech bubble coming from her. I'm using my Martha Stewart heat tool and just setting all of the embossing powder. And I love how this looks afterwards. I just really like how it's all shiny. And then I'm going to cut out the happy birthday from the die, coordinating dies. Now it's time to put the whole thing together. So first I'm doing the inside. I'm using some glue dots to put the hat on the top of the sitting bunny rabbit. And then I'm attaching that to the pop-up piece. I'm using foam adhesive on the happy birthday speech bubble. And then I'm putting some uh, tape runner adhesive on the inside. And first I fold the inside and then I fold the outside so that way I know it'll be a perfect fit. Here I'm just adding that sky circle and a bunch of foam adhesive on the back of the pattern paper because I want it to stick out a little bit from the background. And the same thing, um, I actually forgot, but I, I tied a ribbon along the front just because I thought it needed a little bit of color on the front. And I'm attaching the ribbon to the front of the card using glue dots as well. And the glue dots really hold it securely in place so you don't have to worry about um, the ribbon coming apart. And this is like the cheating way of tying ribbon. So nobody will know that it's not fully wrapped around the entire card. And then I'm using the foam adhesive. I'm going to peel all of that up and just line it up perfectly so that it fits on the front of the card. And the last thing I'll do is um, place the Pix rabbit who's holding the heart in the center with foam adhesive and adding some Wink of Stella on all the flowers and the heart. I also put it on the inside of the card as well. Here's what the finished card looks like. I just love the pop-up effect when you open the card and I used to buy pop-up cards all the time so now that I can make them it's even cooler. Here are some close-ups of the finished card. The inside is so fun 
and thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more projects like this, please visit my website at bubblegumpaper.com. You can also follow me on social media at bubblegumpaper. Thanks again, and see you next time. Bye!